Hello everyone, we're here and we're going to talk about acceleration today. We're gonna to look at our acceleration practice problem set two. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here is our formula at the top. It's the same formula that we've been working with. Um, so remember acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So remember that the final velocity is how fast it's going at the end, and the initial velocity is how fast it's going at the start. Okay, um, so at the top up here, you have your math triangle, and you have to fill in the variables and the units. We went over that the other day, so I would like you to try to remember, look at your notes, and see if you can fill that in on your own. Okay, so this worksheet specifically is looking at deceleration. So the main thing to remember here is that deceleration is negative acceleration. Okay, so this is slowing down, which is called deceleration. So this is the exact opposite of acceleration, which is speeding up. Okay, so anytime we are speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction, we are considering that acceleration, and we can use this formula um, that we've been talking about here. Okay, so let's look at our first example problem. It says, while traveling along a highway, a driver slows from 24 meters per second to 15 meters per second in 12 seconds. What is the automobile's acceleration. Okay, so we have a starting velocity here of 24, and then it slows down to our ending velocity of 15, and the time it takes is 12 seconds. So we're gonna take these three numbers and plug them in over here in this first box, which is what's given in our problem. Okay, so remember that the Final velocity is how fast it's going at the end. So in this case, that's going to be 15 meters per second. And the initial velocity is how fast it's going to start at. Okay, so it's starting at 24 meters per second. And the time is 12. So we're gonna plug that into our formula. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So we come over here in our work box and we're gonna show all of our work. So our first step is to write down what is given into our formula. So the final velocity is 15 meters per second minus our initial velocity of 24 meters per second and all of that is divided by 12. So remember when we're working these, we have to remember our order of operations and we have to subtract this top portion first before we can divide, otherwise you're going to get a wrong answer. Okay, so 15 minus 24 gives you a negative nine. The negative here is very important, so make sure you do not omit the negative sign. Okay, so we have negative nine meters per second divided by 12 seconds. When we divide that in the calculator, remember that whatever is on top goes in the calculator first. Okay, so put negative nine divided by sine 12, and you should get negative 0.75. So make sure you have that negative. It is very important. And this is meters per second per second. So where is this coming from? Look over here, we're taking meters per second and we're dividing it by another second. So that's where this comes from. An easier way to write that, remember, is meters per second squared. So when we have the S divided by the S is the same as saying seconds squared. Okay, so let's look at another example of a deceleration problem. So let's do number one together. Okay, this one says, as she climbs a hill, a cyclist slows down from 25 miles an hour to six miles an hour in 10 seconds. Let's change this. We're going to have to change this to hours. So if we change 10 seconds into hours, then we can actually do this problem correctly. Okay, um, so then it says, what is her deceleration? Okay, so the starting speed 
is here. The ending speed is here. So remember the start is the initial velocity of 25 miles per hour. And the ending velocity is six miles per hour. And our time is 10 seconds. And we need to convert that into hours. Okay, so if we have uh, 10 seconds and we want to change it into hours, we know that there is 60 seconds in one hour. So we're going to take 10 divided by 60 to get our answer in second, I mean in hours. Okay, so 10 divided by 60 gives us 1.66. So we'll round that to um, I'm sorry, 0.17 of an hour. Okay, so our time is 0.17 hours because we need all of the units to match. Okay, okay, so moving on, let's look at which formula are we going to use for acceleration. So we're going to use acceleration is the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time. In the next box, we're going to show all of our work. So I'm going to take these numbers that are given to us and plug them in. So acceleration is the final velocity, which is six miles an hour minus 25, which is the initial miles per hour. And all of that divided by the time of 0.17 hours. Okay, so now we're going to subtract the top, so 6 minus 25, and that should give you negative 19, so please don't forget the negative sign, and that's still miles per hour, and the same time, 0.17 hours. Okay, so now I can take negative 19 and divide it by 0.17. Remember that whatever's in the calculator, whatever's on top is going to go in the calculator first. So negative 19 divided by 0.17 and you should get negative 111.76 and we'll go ahead and just round that up to 8 and this is miles per hour squared, or you can write it miles per hour per hour, whichever way you like best. Okay? Okay, so question two is the exact same with deceleration. Questions three, four, five, and six are all about deceleration. Then when you get to the next page, Part two, starting on number seven, is when we're going back to acceleration. So all of part two, you should have positive answers, while all of part one for deceleration, these are all going to be negative answers. Okay, so don't forget your signs for these problems, it's very important to keep track if it's negative or if it's positive for your final answer, because if it's negative acceleration, that means it's slowing down deceleration. And if it is positive, it is going to be speeding up. Okay, well, I hope that helps you answer these questions. If you need any more help, let us know and we'll be happy to help you. Have a good day.